you know, the, anyone that's supported Ultra for a number of years will know that we don't also don't generally tend to do it the easy way, do they? We always tend to do it the hard way, and we did that on Saturday. Um, but at the end of the day, all that matters is Thomas put that ball in there in the 89th minute, and we got three points. At the end of the day, when you look back on the season, that's all you see, isn't it? You see a 3 2 win and three points on the board. And uh, hopefully, if you're not Town point of view, we now move on to Nordstrom. But as the players come out right now, and the, we all understand Tommy's mentality and this, his players' mentality, they're, they're right now, right here, they're thinking another three points. Um, and it's important team news as well because um, Aldershot have had a couple of little setbacks tonight. Kwame Thomas, who finally got his first shots goal at the weekend, uh, has not travelled, uh, and nor has Tyler Frost. And I've been in touch with Tyler, and uh, he says that he's desperately in, in need of a rest. His foot's very sore. He's been playing with a very sore foot. It got worse with that um, sort of bone-on-bone -bone kick uh, against the uh, South End player on uh, Tuesday night as well. And he did really well to get through most of... Uh, Saturday's game, Tyler. Hopefully he'll be back in the shots uh, soon. But the two players that come in then, Tommy Willard, who's been itching for a start for a long while and coming on and completing a few uh, games. And uh, Jack Barham, who needs no introduction. He's been rotating with Kwame Thomas anyway. Exactly that. Not my choice of music. I don't do that. No. I don't put the music together. And if the, the fourth highest uh, shot striker... Or, or, or taker of shots in the league, Laurent Tolage scores. He knows how to say Tolage. He's even got his he's even got his mouth around Van Staffordshire. Our field is shut down there by his former teammate Amaluzo. The Mr. Amaluzo is in the mood. Yeah, he's definitely in the mood here. And both teams, at uh, the minute, it's both teams quite an open game. This Rob, to be honest with you, both teams looking slightly dangerous going forwards. Um, which you know, I think being the way so much. Ball in from Glover. Flick on. Oh, oh it's saved. I had to put cut in there. It was Josh Stokes who got the header uh, on target. It was relatively comfortable for Ethan Ross. Ball's back with Jordi van Stappershoef. Max is going to get the scores up and see what's going on elsewhere in the National League. We've had 23 minutes here at Moss Lane. And uh, somehow it remains Altrincham nil, Aldershot Town nil uh, in the rain. Here's Con Clark turning inside. He's skipped one challenge, gets the shot away. And it's a quite brilliant finish from Con Clark. In the 24th minute, the striker who has scored had the most shots in the National League this season. Breezed past the shots, defence as if they weren't there, into the penalty area. And then a beautiful finish past Jordi van Stappershoef. And the Robins open the score in 24 minutes in, Altingham 1, all the shot down nil. 24 minutes in, Chris Conclark, who uh, goes level with Josh Stokes with the season on seven. And the shots will look to see if they can respond quickly. There's a good ball into Tolad. He turns, throws it out to the left hand side to Glover, who's into the penalty area. Oh! He's come back off the inside of the post, and Glover is so unlucky. He's cleared behind for a corner. A quite marvellous effort from Ryan Glover, and the inside of the post saves Altrincham's day. Uh, who gives it back to Harfield. Lots of bodies in the box. Can he get a ball in? He can. It's flicked on by the head of an Altrincham player. Sent back in by Minoga and then lifted over the top by Josh Stokes. His third effort of the opening 26 minutes. Lively game. Plenty of opportunities for the handball there. We saw it clearly. The referee didn't. And the referee didn't give it. He literally controlled the ball. And they come forward with Dior Angus. He turns now. He's heading towards goal. He's cutting in, and he's going to try and get a shot away. The shot comes in, it's blocked, and it's creeping away to the right-hand side, and Altrincham will keep it in with Eddie Jones. Back to Marriott on the edge of the penalty area. Back to Jones. Cross comes in, headed away by Harfield. And feeds Marriott. Marriott going across the middle now. Plays it out to the right-hand side to Banks. Banks has found a bit of space. He's to the edge of the penalty area now. Plays a ball in. It's cut out by Harry. He's only as far as Con Clark. We don't want to give him another shooting chance. He has got his shot in. He's been stopped by Van Stappershire. Marriott out to Banks. Ulti. I'm a loser. Ball into the penalty area. Well cut out by Tommy Willard. Well positioned. Good defending there from the shot striker who's playing in midfield this evening. Alti coming again. Um, good battle. Oh, Amaluza picks it up on the edge of the penalty area. He's into the right-hand side. Tries a shot. Brilliant shot. Really powerful. And well parried behind for a corner by Jordi van Stappershoef. 
And Justin Amaluza, Matt Foot, having had a quiet start to the second half. Uh, Tolage holds it up, feeds Widrington. Widrington to Jones. One thing you know about this Aldershot Town side, Matt, is it never stops trying, never gives up. That's a much better ball from Theo Widrington out to the left-hand side, taken down on his chest and his head by Glover. He's got an overlapping run from Harfield. Cross comes in, headed down on target from Barham, but it's too easy, far too easy for uh, Ethan Ross to gather. Um, Willard just holding it up and goes back to Haji Minoga. He makes a little run forward, gives the ball into Stokes, gets it back, controls it quite well. He's into the penalty area, goes down, and it's a penalty. He's given it. It was a little bit soft, but Minoga had a bit of contact. He went down, and Aldershot might get the chance to get level here. Just past the 70-minute mark, he had a good touch, half um, Minoga, as he went back onto the pass. He upsteps Kean Harris, sends the keeper the wrong way, and the shots are level. On 71 minutes, and Kean Harris tucks it away. Two penalties in two games, four assists, two goals from the Aldershot Town centre back. Ulti one, shots one. You want to have a look at the scores for us elsewhere? 77th minute now, halfway through it. Altrincham coming over the halfway line. Aldershot have been pretty good at picking up results lately when they haven't necessarily been the better team for all periods. Can they do so here? Ball in left by Con Clark. Newby shoots. Brilliant leave from Con Clark. And Newby shoots across Jordi van Stappersdorf. And uh, yet again, Aldershot Town, having scored a goal, have conceded within the next six minutes. 77 minutes gone now. Altrincham 2, Aldershot Town 1. In the end, he smashes it off of Harfield and it comes back off of him and it will be Aldershot's throw. But I don't know if they've given the uh, Altingham man the match, but surely, surely it's Chris Con Clark, is it? No. Wow. Wow, that is such an insult to Chris Con Clark. Um, but here is Amaluza, he's pushed his man in the penalty and he's getting away, the shot comes in, it's half cleared, and then it's over the top. And if I'm honest, I think Aldershot should have had a foul there. And they didn't get it. And Amaluza, who was just being awarded the man of the match, probably should have scored. Altrincham 2, Aldershot Town 1. The goal kick is played. The final whistle goes. Congratulations to Altrincham. Four wins on the trot for them. It's defeat for Aldershot on the outskirts of Manchester and a long journey home.